it has been five months now since I came to Taiwan to study mechanical engineering and now the first semester of the first year of my first year has come to an end and now I'm on winter break so you may be wondering what was the first semester like studying mechanical engineering for me personally it was more of a refresher course some of my classmates who had no prior uh, physics or math background they were the ones that struggled the most and some even failed so this is something important to consider if you're going to study mechanical engineering or any uh, branch of engineering for that matter having a strong uh, background in physics and math will really take you a long way when uh, going for an undergrad degree in in pretty much any engineering being course. that this is the first year of uh, an undergrad degree in engineering we did a lot of general courses so that includes stuff like uh, general physics uh, introductory chemistry and calculus so it's very general and the, I guess the point is to introduce us to just the basic concepts that later on in the coming years we will apply to more specific uh, engineering applications. The most interesting course that I took this semester is computer programming and it's not the computer programming that you're probably thinking about. The past students that were here before me they did math lab but they changed it up a bit because they said that uh, it was too hard and a lot of people were failing. This year, yeah. however, we did learn how to use App Inventor 2 to create working Android apps, which is <laughs> by far pretty cool. And we needed to know a little bit of coding. We didn't have to know the syntax itself, but we need to know basic concepts like if statements, uh, for loops, while loops in order to actually create you know Android apps the app inventor itself did most of the work we just had to had a, a creative mind in the same course for the other half of the semester after midterm we started learning how to use Arduino and for this we actually had to learn a little bit of C language Arduino is actually a single board microcontroller that allows you to build digital devices and interactive objects that can sense and control objects in the physical world. As we built a circuit with a temperature sensor, which would sense the temperature, the ambient temperature, and once the temperature falls within a certain range, then the LED on the breadboard would actually change color. So we would actually need to use an if statement for this just to show that uh, we actually need to learn coding C language. We have to program code in C language. So we had to learn the syntax and all of that. So that's where the coding, the computer programming actually falls into place. But this was actually really cool. As you can imagine, the applications of this are very, very wide. Actually, we have a project where we're actually building an RC car, a uh, remote control car using Bluetooth out of this technology here. So yeah uh this this is far, this was the coolest class of the semester computer programming it might be different for you if you're taking it at another school but here at kunshan university computer programming is pretty cool physics one it was mainly an introductory course we covered con we covered concepts such as vectors uh kinematics work and energy momentum and impulse you know the basic physics stuff that you probably already did uh, in high school or or maybe in junior college the same thing for calculus we were introduced to functions you know uh, limits derivatives and all the rules the quotient rule product rule etc uh, implicit differentiation and uh, the same thing for chemistry so most of these courses were just uh, introduction really we don't really dive into the real advanced stuff like the actual applications of these concepts probably in second year we will actually start to see applications of these concepts in fact next semester we're going to be doing uh, material science or is it engineering materials I have to double check that but it's actually a uh, application of physics and chemistry where we where we study uh, uh, mechanical properties uh, chemical properties uh, physical properties of different materials so it's actually you know it's it's pretty cool. I actually did this before in junior college, 
so this should be easy for me i don't know we'll see though speaking of which courses that i found easy um i found physics easy chemistry easy that's because i did those before but the course that i struggled with the most was calculus because i was never that good in math i was never that strong in math which is kind of ironic considering i'm in engineering you know we still have calculus too engineering mathematics one and two and a lot of these other courses like fluid dynamics thermodynamics and all these other courses they're pretty uh, math intensive so yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a fun seven semesters i think yeah <laughs> the best way i can describe first year in engineering mechanical engineering is just an introduction into engineering where we learn all the basic concepts first in second year we actually go into actual engineering so first year might be pretty easy for most people provided that you have a background in physics and math uh second year is a question mark for me because that's where the real engineering starts with that said i am looking forward to next semester and the years to come and that will be all for now and thank you for watching and i'll be sure to make another update video you know i did say that uh this channel was supposed to be about me solving uh math problems physics problems so you know, help students that have a hard time finding these problems, finding solutions to these problems online. So I'm going to do that probably in the future. We'll see. We'll see. But until then, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.